What's going on you guys? Before I start this video, I just wanted to quickly let you know this is a three-part series. I've done some crazy shit in my life, but this is definitely one of the craziest. Moving countries is no joke. I never thought I would do this, but this is something that's been on my mind for a very, very long time. So in this three-part series, you're going to see a lot of emotions and it's going to be raw. And I really hope you guys enjoy this series. It's from the beginning where we're struggling the most all the way to us finally settling in. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys soon. What's going on, everybody? Quick update for you. Um, so we actually got to Dubai about a week ago, and we decided not to shoot any content. To be honest, it was quite an overwhelming experience just landing in a country knowing you're not actually on vacation. Showing up with eight luggages and feeling all these emotions, the stress, the anxiety. So we kind of just decided to not shoot any content for the first week, but here we are, we're back on camera. And I actually wanted to show you guys our Airbnb, just so you got an idea of where we're staying and uh, how we've been living over the past week. We'll be here for another week or so, and then we might have to relocate because we're actually in the process of finding our new home. Anyways, I won't blab on for too long. If this is a one bedroom condo, here in an area called JVC. Excuse the mess, because obviously we've been living out of eight suitcases. But yeah, this is a one bedroom, one bathroom. It's about 800 square feet. It's a brand new building that we're staying in. It's about a year old, I believe. I love the kitchen. It's got the built-in appliances. Came with this espresso machine. And if you know me, you know I love my coffee. Luckily, we've had espressos a few times a day. It's keeping us wired. Little cute dining area. Like I said, luggage is everywhere. It's messy, we got our camera gear. This couch is probably the worst part about this Airbnb. Uh, we use it as a table because it's so small. Yeah, and if you're not familiar with JVC, it's called Jamero Village Circle. It's a circular neighborhood and it's all surrounding this building right over there, the five. Really cute neighborhood, a lot of boutique buildings. Let's continue the tour. One thing that you'll realize living in Dubai, a lot of the condos actually have 10 foot ceilings. So 10 foot ceilings just makes Smaller spaces feel a lot bigger. Uh, excuse me, Patricia, do you mind if we hop in quickly? Really messy. <laughs> so yeah, sorry, this is quickly. Just wanted to show everyone our bathroom. Very spacious and behind this the mirror. first time to do a tour. Might as well uh, multitask while you take three hours to get ready. I take 20 minutes. And there you are, our bedroom. And again, luggage is everywhere. Excuse the mess, but it's really, really nice. And it's honestly a really, a uh, great introduction to living in Dubai, but we're very flexible when it comes to areas. We've been looking at Jumeirah Village Circle. We've also been looking at the marina. We've been looking at JBR. So we're not so sure exactly where we're gonna live. All we know, all we know is wherever we end up living, it's going to change the experience. It's gonna change the lifestyle. Of course, coming to a new country, being extremely out of your comfort zone, you kind of want to make it a cool experience. You want to try to have the best possible outcome so we're gonna be picky because i'm a realtor myself and i know my real estate very well i look at everything it's not always a good thing but you'll never know baby you ready all right we're gonna head out soon. let's go are you guys ready to see our super exotic rental it's kind of like one of my dream cars you ready should i reveal it to them introducing our Toyota RAV4. Baby, can you give us some ASMR? Where are we going? So on today's schedule, we are hitting a cafe. We try to get about an hour or two of computer work done in the mornings, just to kind of be ahead of the Toronto schedule and then we start going about our day here. And then I think later on today, uh, just to kind of make things more exciting, we're actually gonna go furniture shopping. Is that what we're doing today? Yeah, we are. We've been told that furniture is actually a lot cheaper here, apparently like 30 to 40% cheaper. So we're really excited to kind of see that in person and just get inspired, you know? We're really excited to just find a place and make it our own. So I actually want to show you guys a little bit of JVC. Like I said, it's like this massive circular neighborhood. We're actually driving on our way to a shopping mall where our favorite gym is. 
We have some beautiful cafes there. And I kind of just want to point out like what the neighborhood looks like. A lot of brand new construction, a lot of existing construction that's soon to be completed. So this area is going to be booming in the next few years. You're about 20 minutes from like the coast of Dubai. Your average commute would be around 20 to 25 minutes from Jamara Village Circle. This is the mall, Circle Mall, in a circle neighborhood. We'll give you an in-depth tour of the gym another day because we're not working out right now. But when I tell you it's like a Nike commercial building looking gym, it's like literally crazy. So Patricia sneaks in a date in her pocket <laughs> and then orders a latte. Okay, so we just got to Dubai Hills Mall. We've heard great things. And every mall in this city is like massive. Literally, you can take hours to get through it. And uh, it's our first time at this one. Patricia and I have been uh, doing viewings on potential homes that we're gonna be living in. And then during our dead time, we're browsing for some furniture, kind of killing two birds with one stone. So let's check it out and see what we can find. Let's go, Superstar. It's been like some of your favorite things about Dubai so far. Sunshine. It's so much easier when you wake up to sunshine. Too comfortable. You know what? Show us what our ideal couch would be. This is really cool, actually. Actually, really cool. This is really cool. Probably be a three by. Probably be one, two, and then maybe like a. Like an end, like a corner here or something. Like an end. Some okay, maybe it's a little ending. awkward though. It'd have to be something like this. Yeah, that looks so good. Mm. I get, I get it's your not opinion. meant for that, but we just need an end, obviously. Like this. Oh, there it is. There it is. I think that'd be a perfect couch. I like the shape. I like the fabric. Nice. Do we like the price? And this coffee table actually looks exactly like the one we have back in Toronto. The price is really great too. So this couch is five, almost 5,000 dirhams. To do some quick mental math, it's about 1,800 bucks, roughly. 17, yeah, 18, 1,800 maybe? Canadian dollars yeah. for this massive couch. I really like this one. Okay, so we just did some quick math and based off of how we would want this couch, 13 and a half thousand dirhams. Now convert that to Canadian dollars. 51. Like 5100 dollars. That's approximately fair for This would be like $20,000 in Canada. Yeah. This is like a restoration hardware cloud couch ish dupe. <sighs> it's really comfortable. I could get used to this. We each have like our own cushion and like not bother each other. Just a quick update, we've uh, we found a store that pretty much has everything we would need. Literally A to Z. I think we just hit jackpot and they have really, really nice stuff at really good prices. You know what, I think we can do about 90% of our shopping here. <laughs> like almost everything. And I'm not gonna show you guys any of the furniture yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait because, well, first of all, we're not buying it yet. We don't even have a home yet, but we have an idea of where we're gonna shop and then you'll be able to see it once we actually have a place and we furnish it and deck it out and so you'll kind of just see like the like the final result or the grand finale of of our uh, art piece right yes. yeah that's the plan okay we just got home guys on the balcony and uh just to give you guys a quick update so we went for some viewings today that's what they call it here it's not called showings it's called viewings you know at first we were a little um let's just say worried about our options seems like our budget and what we were able to get was not looking like the best but yeah today we saw some really good units and I'm feeling really good about them so hopefully we can lock one in um, 
So we'll see how that goes. We also went furniture shopping just to kind of be productive with our time and, and kind of know exactly what we're gonna buy, where we're gonna buy it. So when we do lock in a home and we have a move-in date, we can kind of just finish furniture shopping within a day. That went well as well. I think we pretty much nailed it. We know exactly where to get all our stuff and that's really exciting. We feel inspired. So far, so good. But most importantly, guys, we're here to make money. We're here to have opportunity and we're here for business. So hopefully by the next video, we'll have an update in terms of all of that stuff. But uh, you know what? We showed up to Dubai with eight suitcases and nothing else. Now I've taken some massive risk and leaps of faith in my life at a very young age. And that's exactly how I've been able to kind of get where I am today. You know what? You have to. If you don't take these risks, you'll never get what you really want. As long as you stay ambitious, you stay confident, you stay motivated, of course it's gonna feel uncomfortable, of course it's gonna feel scary, you're gonna be anxious, uh, but at the end of the day, you're going to overcome it. You gotta just be confident about what you do. And that's exactly how we feel. You know, if you don't wanna be average, well then you can't do what average people do. You gotta take these massive risks to get massive rewards, and that's what we're doing, baby. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully by the next video, we'll have some bigger updates for you guys. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're back on YouTube, baby. We're gonna keep rolling in. And yeah, my name is Nav. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.